in a flash with the uh, introduction of the Lemurian calendar you're also introducing new bird signs into people's consciousness can you speak about these bird signs and how they are different from the Gregorian bird signs that most people are familiar with they have been uh, there have been reports and stories for the past couple of years about the change in the changes of stars and alignments in the constellations in the universe in the immediate universe we know these changes are taking place in the galaxy new gates or let me say ancient new gates have been opening they're not fully understood by in the science world and they're trying to understand but energetically vibration and frequency in the magnetics is, is familiar to to some of us from Lemuria, from the time of Lemuria. So the ancient new gates are, are returning. They bring with them constellations, access to constellations that have not been here in a long time. And so, the Gregorian calendar and the Gregorian birth signs uh, are of these modern constructs of the time loop these constructions of this um, operating system the Gregorian day week month year cycle and the constellations aligned to it including the languaging is has been very damaging we call, I call it the scope of horrors. This loop just playing through the scope of horrors of your lifetimes and including the alignments to this replay of the Akashic Records. For, for some of us and for many of us, this is done. The Gregorian constellations and the language is Archon and Anunnaki. Do you wish to carry on with this languaging and these codes? You can bring much light to it as best you can. But within that operating system, there is a ceiling. There is a cap. It's what it's designed for. To cap you off. To keep you in this time loop. Though you can feel the light. I would say that the light is coming through from the Lemurian side, from the Lemurian birth signs. So, your Gregorian birth signs are aligned to the scope of horrors, which is a mechanical time loop machine, a series of components, codes, programming. The Lemurian birth signs are based upon light time which is endless, infinite, has no ceiling and cannot be capped off, cannot be looped. Multiple dimensions, multiple universes, omni-universes and they bring with them the, dis the destiny. So from the Gregorian birth signs that you are familiar with are quite different in the Lemurian light calendar and the light birth, birth signs. The birth signs themselves represent certain characters and certain beings and star nations that are benevolent, that are familiar with you. I can share those wonderful beings. You know, these birth signs in the Lemurian, known as the Motu, one of them being the Honu Motu which is the birth sign of the turtle. Another one being Kirihi Motu. It's the birth sign of the lamb. An incredible, an incredible birth sign known as the Kopunui Motu, which is the wombat or the womb at. These are very lovely beautiful creatures, beautiful beings, and these are benevolent beings of Lemuria. 
they carry with them the first light and the blueprint and so we can share with you the the ancient new birth signs that you knew once way back in first light before the human form but they are here now and so they are here to assist they are here to assist you to make this ascension if if I can say that to make the shift to make the jump over into your undistorted light so quite simply the Lemurian light calendar carries with it the um, the motto or the birth signs that will help you make the shift from the Gregorian birth signs the Gregorian operating system and to the Lemurian birth signs and the Lemurian operating system of first light thank you